Hi guys, this is Angel. This is your weekly tarot for April 9th. So this week um, we are moving towards a new moon in, I want to say Aries. Let's say Aries, new moon in Aries. Yep. And um, that's on the 15th. And then next week, we have Mercury going direct. So that's a good thing for everyone that's been experiencing Mercury retrograde dilemmas. Um, and yeah, so this week, you might feel that ahead of time. Some of us do, some of us don't. Everybody's different. Everyone has a different... Um, you know, reactions to the way the planets move around because we're all unique. That being said, I do want to point out that these are general readings that I give um, and I do it for practice and I do it to share because, you know, I feel that this is a gift I have and I want to share it with everyone. But just keep in mind that it is a general reading. If you want something more personal and specific for you, then please uh, contact me. Um, the information is below. I do have free uh, monthly videos for your zodiac sign as well. So if you're a Leo, if you're an Aries, whatever, you can check that out. It does apply for your moon sign and sun sign and rising sign. So you can cross reference your information. So let's get started. We'll call in the guides from all directions of time and space. <clears throat> And we'll ask that this reading be for the highest good of all those that tune in. And we'll ask for clear guidance and direction and courage to know the truth as it is presented to us today in this reading for the week of April 9th. The weekly reading for the week of April 9th. So we'll ask Archangel Michael to clear the deck as well. Ground us to Mother Earth, connect us to Father Sky to open our hearts, open our third eye, vacuum out our ears so that we can hear the messages. And you at home can also close your eyes during this process and put any questions you have into your heart so that they will be answered during this reading. He'll help to bring balance and solutions. This reading um, for the week of April 9th. April 9th. Beginning of the week, middle of the week, and end of the week. All right, so at the beginning of the week, it starts off with balance, actually. Um, and it's a really close to earth card. So it's a card that talks about um, your needs being met in magical and um, and unexpected ways. So if any of you have been struggling financially, then, you know, there's going to be a balance brought there in that area. Um, it's also showing me that at the beginning of the week, you're going to have a very grateful heart. You're going to be starting the week off with a very um, positive attitude um, and that the balance between giving and receiving is um, really in a good place. So you're not giving too much, you're not taking too much, there's a good balance there. Um, and because of that, your material needs will get met in unexpected ways. So if you have been worrying about material abundance and whatnot, then this card um, shows up to remind you that you know, there is miracles that can happen, connections that can happen with people that um, you might have overlooked and that will pop up at the beginning of this week to remind you of those miracles. Um, and that is what the guides are saying, that there's going to be some people from your past popping up or connections you made a long time ago or impressions you put on people a long time ago that are going to be a part of this balance or bringing this balance. Um, middle of the week, again, your attitude is uh, 
is super positive. So around Wednesday, I do see that there is some communication issues that come up, um, but your attitude is that you're not going to let them hinder you or get in your way. Um, and I feel like you're on a mission to clear up any communication problems. And if you're not, then maybe think and consider that that is more important to you than you might realize. Like the guides are showing me that it's something that is bothering you, these various relationships that are sort of broken in, in different ways. Um, some communication has to happen to sort of get it out of your mind. And uh, end of the week I see the Emperor card coming up. So that's this card here which tells me there's a lot of stability, lots of ambitious plans coming up for you guys, um, a structure's being built. I see that happening um, going into the weekend, um, this uh, clear mind that, that you, you have uh, sort of come out of Mercury retrograde, all the deep thinking that you've done, even if you don't feel like you really took full advantage of reflecting and writing down the things that have come up. It's come up. You've been processing whether you've sat in meditation and actually done the work in that way. Sometimes you can be doing the work in other ways. So for example, the guides are bringing to my attention a conversation I had with a customer in my shop this week where she told me that when she cleans, she gets answers to her um, deeper question. So it's a sort of like a meditation in motion and she finds cleaning incredibly meditative. So you at home might be putting pressure on yourself to sit and meditate in the traditional way that uh, we've all been you know told that we need to do um, but maybe you have a meditation practice in your daily life and you're not even aware of it that helps you kind of work through things. So for example, one of the ways I clear my mind, my heart, is going for a walk in nature. I, I don't necessarily have to sit in nature, although that is also something I really enjoy doing, but walking in nature and touching the trees and putting my hands on the ground and picking up uh, you know, acorns, stones, whatever, just connecting to nature, that really, really provides me so much clarity. So you might, I mean, cleaning is not something that I find very meditative, I actually find it irritating, um, but, you know, typical mom issue. Um, but you might find cleaning very meditative. You might find reading about higher knowledge meditative, like my husband does. That's something he does to clear his mind is he reads, you know, Visistas Yoga or Patanjali Sutras or you know, the Bhagavad Gavita, he reads spiritual scripts to clear his mind. Everyone has a different way to kind of do that. We're all unique. Um, but the main point the guides are saying is to find what helps you clear your head and build this structure, continue to build this structure um, so that you feel more stable, so that you can take charge of situations. Um, so that you can nourish those ambitious plans that I know you all have to help on a global level. Um, this is super important going into May, and I'll talk about that um, closer to that time, but Uranus is going into Taurus in May. And this is going to be a time where things that we thought were stable will sort of fall apart. Um, for the betterment of the whole. And this is going to happen over the next seven years with Uranus and Taurus. So right now is a time to get really clear, to find stability in new ways, uh, specifically by going inward and cleaning that part of you out and then extending it outward to the world around you, to those around you, to the relationships around you, to your work environment. So doing your part right now will help many, many other people. And as you can see in this Emperor card, he's holding this light. This is you. This is all of you. This is myself. All of us that want to make a difference in the world, we need to hold a light up for other people. Um, that's a part of the spiritual evolution of the planet, in my opinion. And so... 
to hold that light up, to make that light really, really bright, our number one responsibility to the world at large, to the global community at large, is to take care of our shit. That means our emotions, our feelings, what's not working. We need to take care of ourselves. Sometimes we're so invested in changing everyone else outside and the things outside us we pay attention to um, that aren't working, that are falling apart, that we have issue with. But the main way to bring peace to this world that's so in an upheaval right now is to take care of ourselves, to be a clear channel for other people, to be a light for other people, to be there for other people. Um, and the only way to do that is to be there for ourselves. At least that's how I see it, to take care of myself so I can take care of other people. Um, and I feel like, you know, a lot of you are going through a lot of forgiving and you probably have noticed during this Mercury retrograde lots of feelings from the past are coming up. Things that you thought you were over have now resurfaced. And why is that happening? That is happening because you didn't totally process it and you've been carrying it around. So now is the time for the full or new moon on in Aries on the 15th. That's the time to just let that go, start new, find yourself a ritual of some sort to move in a new direction um, to help you create a healing energy, not only for yourself, but for everyone else around you that is connected to you. And because we are all connected, if we all take that on as a responsibility, that is going to make a massive difference in the world, one person at a time. I hope that that helps. Again, you can contact me for a personalized reading. Um, this is a general reading every week that I do for free. And then the monthly readings also are free on my channel. You can check them out. Go back into my channel. I have interviewed some really awesome people that I feel are making a huge difference in the world um, that have a lot of integrity and a lot of heart. And I will continue to do some interviews um, you know, I, I'm meeting with a lady that makes raw chocolate, um, and she's going to actually um, share her passion. So I, I try to do um, lots of interviews, you know, when they come up. So stay tuned for that. I will see you again here next week, and take care.